Hi, hello. All right, I'm gonna put us into game really quick so we can get a little bit quieter music. There we go. Jesus. All right. Okay, you ready? You ready? Let me see if you can see his little noggin. So uh, I have some kitty kibble so I could get him to sit with me. <laughs> and of course, Nanami wants some too. You can come sit up here, Nuggie. Come on, Nug. You can sit. <laughs> yeah, look. Oh, he, he wants to sit. <laughs> he wants to sit in my lap. That's very cute. So we'll just continue to... <laughs> just have little pop-ups of his little noggin. <gasps> He's such a good little boy. Yeah. Nanami wants one so bad. <laughs> but she's a chunky little girl. Nuggie's not chunky. He's such a good little boy. We get our, our wholesome dose early today. He's just purring away. We'll give Nan to me one so she doesn't feel left out, even though she's junky. Here, you just want to eat out of that? <laughs> I pulled it over at him and he just dives into it. You gotta take it. There you go. She barely chews. Okay, I'm gonna let him finish his kitten kibble. Also. Also. Um, there's been Dragon Age news today, yeah? Okay, he's done. We can play. Y'all need to fill me in on what's going on, because I don't know. Also, let's see if I can show it off. Yes. Sounds gay. I'm in. All right. <gasps> yes, DA4 is the Dreadwolf, right? It's DA4 Dreadwolf, if I'm not mistaken. Which, <sighs> those of you who, uh, who know my uh, penchant for being a soulless simp, I'm so here for it. I'm so here for it. I'm super, super here for it. I love that we have people in this community that just want to be here for literal ages. An entire dragon age, if you will. <laughs> All right. I love that I set this quest for us because I know exactly where to go now. I'm trying to remind myself to sit comfortably today. Um, because I always, I don't know if you guys know this, but I sit like ramrod straight in this chair just because it looks better for y'all, right? And so it's not super great to do for a long period of time. So I'm trying to be better about not doing it and being a little easier on my back. Inquisitor, I have something for you. Um, I'm okay, but thank you. Oh, an Eero. I'm very excited about my commission. And also, I love having you here. All right, let's go talk to this terrible lady so, refresher, she owns the quarry that we had investigated last time, and apparently she's been selling people oh, to... Creator, see me kneel. Excuse me, I, I was speaking. You me. She's been selling people to the Red Templars to use as fuel for their Red Lyrium. A reckoning. A reckoning. Can I please talk? Why can't I speak to her? 
There we go. I was like... Dragon Age just having a moment. It's fine. It happens to the best of us. You lied. You knew what the Red Templars were doing, but you took their gold and stayed silent. Yes, I took their gold. Gold and any supplies they would give. All so we could live. There are many orphans in Sarnia. Who protected them when their parents were lost? You lost we their parents? Run, not with the river frozen and the demons. If I had said anything, they would have killed me too. So I let them take people and prayed that one day someone like you would come destroy them. All we could do was survive to that day. Now it's come, hasn't it? I was right. A hundred percent. People died because of you. People were taken, infected with red lyrium because of your actions. What else could I do? Take up the old pitchfork to fight? Those who died would have died regardless. This way at least some survived. I'm not sure I follow that logic. But then again, I don't know if we have all the information that we might need to to have made a decision that this woman had to make. For our snacky of choice today, Merlin has made me... Oh, this is my calcifer cut, by the way. Look how cute! I don't know if you can see him super well. Um, from Howl's Moving Castle, which is my favorite movie of all time. Um, it's an orange mango pineapple mimosa with the, the gay uh, champagne. Perfect. Oh, he made it strong. We'll sip that delicately. Yes, I love Howl's Moving Castle. I have a huge blown up uh, screenshot that I've had put on canvas in my, in my living room. My house is really like nerd central. It is, it is a haven for weebs and gamers and whatnot. Like I've got so much Mass Effect stuff up. I should take pictures of it at some point. All right. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you guys so much for being sweet to one another, gifting subs to each other. Y'all are precious and wonderful. All right. Is there anything else we could say to her? Nope. I saw what those Templars did to the others. If you hadn't freed us, I might have been next. Yeah, I found no thanks to this lady. You killed Lynette's brother. No. It was an accident. He was going to take everything. You mustn't tell Lynette. Let her believe the war killed Gart. Give him what letter? Oh. So this is interesting. We are basically at a crossroads of letting this man take this knowledge with him to the grave, basically. Or letting his sister know. Oh, not his sister. His wife. Let her know that he killed her brother. It was an accident. I'm not sure that we're going to get any sort of justice out of that because it was an accident, right? This man was trying to stop him from doing something bad. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I know that it was like a, oh, I mean like. So. I'm tempted to just give him the letter. They've, they've gone through so much already. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure that telling her is going to improve anything. It's not gonna solve any issues. It's not gonna bring anyone to justice. This was an accident. So I think I'm going to give him the letter. It is your confession. Do with it as you will. Bless your heart, Inquisitor. All right. Thank you for freeing us. I never okay. thought I'd see Lynette's beautiful face again. Wow, it's just having an absolute time with the quest completion my sound. Maker. No, my heart. Oh my goodness. Take for me a life of <gasps> Lynette. I didn't even tell. Blackwall, for the love of God. <laughs> okay, I'm glad they're just back together. If he wants to tell her later at his own discretion, he can. I can't 
can't stop thinking about it. So let's figure out what we might want to do next. What's over here? Oh, red lyrium. Hmm. We've got to go across and do this stuff too at some point. Excuse me. Ugh. Man, they need to stop naming things after the genocide they've committed. I need to pick a thing before I close out out of anger. So, hmm. We've got Varric in our party right now, don't we? Let's just go and take care of... I would like to click it. What's going on today, Dragon Age? It's not letting me pick up the quest. Whatever. It's it's struggling. Thank the maker of the Inquisition found us. <laughs> Nanami thinks I still have snacks up here. There's no snacks, baby girl. She's like sneaking over here because she thinks she's in trouble because she wants snacks. I'm just watching her creep across my monitor. <laughs> what are you doing? Chunky little girl. There's no snacks to be had, ma'am. There's no snacks. All right, maybe she'll be placated. I put the empty snack bowl down so she can investigate it to her heart's content. All right. Ugh, Michelle. Mako turned his gaze on you. Hush. Nobody told you you could talk. I always forget that a lot of people don't realize why he's so shitty. But let me make sure we got Varric. We have Varric. You just gotta. Oh my goodness, she wants her bed. She wants. Uh... Watch your step. Ice everywhere. Thanks for that, Blackwall. wanted her bed yeah I like and hate this area as well oh yeah and I've been running my mouth about Michelle if you don't know why he's such an atrocious person read the masked empire is this the one yeah there's a baddie down this way oh it's probably wolves Okay, so because it won't let us select these quests, I'm gonna have to keep putting markers down. How wild. <laughs> but we can do this one really quick while we're here. I definitely understand why you might want to tell Lynette about, I think it was Louis? Yeah, her husband. But like, it's not my relationship, right? I don't necessarily agree. I, I, at the end of the day, it's really not my place. Now, granted, if it was my place, I'm still kind of, it was an accident. I may be like, hey, Louis, it was an accident. It'd be important to let her know maybe the truth of what happened so you're not, you know, lying to your spouse, but. I could encourage him to do that, but it's I'm not- I'm not sure it was my place to interfere like that. It's not my relationship. Okay, now they're not stuck. <laughs> they were just having a time romping around the red barium. Oh, that guy's still up. All right. 
So we placed that letter in the hollow of the tree. Remember, the woman was dying because she'd been seated with red lyrium and she knew it. So she wrote a letter to a loved one and asked us to place it here, that he would know where to look when he came back from the war. This is heartbreaking. Fuck the Templars. Yeah. There's so much that video games place on our shoulders as far as having to make determinations that oftentimes shouldn't be ours, but I understand why they do that, because they want us to have agency and influence in these narratives. But... Sometimes from an RP perspective... Excuse me? Sometimes it's a little much. These people have some, like, serious Thalmor vibes, you know what I mean? Okay, so... The ones we had for Varric. Hmm. If they're right over here, we might as well just go here. We'll get that... Detroit Smash up in the Red Lyrium. Hmm, if we Detroit Smash the first one, I guess we have to... Is it... What's another one? Texas Smash? I don't remember. God, I have not caught up with, um, Boku no Hiro Academia. Unfortunately. It was really cute when I was watching a while ago, but I, I have not been good about keeping up with anime almost at all. I was trying to watch the second season of Fruits Basket. Apologies for the headphone users. And uh, I have the Funimation subscription and their platform just would not work for me. And so I just stopped watching it. Been filling my time with watching Erlen play Elden Ring instead. Oh, so, um, we have been playing a bit of that modded four-person co-op. So you it's like an actual multiplayer. Why can't I? Thank you. Hello, Nick. Welcome back today, my dude. Yes, I've been freaking out about the new Dragon Age. Believe me. Oh, what? How did I not see this earlier? Pocket diary. I'm going to ask Andrine to marry me. I've got it all planned. I'll take her to the ridge overlooking the valley and we'll open the bottle of wine father left for me. And I think it's time. I, I know she's been waiting for a while, but I, I wanted to make it perfect. But nothing's ever perfect. There will always be a war somewhere. There will always be sadness and wondering where our next meal will come from. But we'll have each other. That's some really great, wholesome vibes for today. <gasps> oh no, I, oh no. I spoke too soon. Oh, God. That's the worst. Can you imagine? <sighs> Did the Red Templars come and do this? And they were burned to death. Or maybe they were just killed. Oh. How fucking atrocious. Wow. Yes, Titan is absolutely right. The Keep is super incredibly helpful if you haven't played the first two games and want to kind of set yourself up the way you'd like to be. Hello, Xavier. Let's see, what else do we have here? Sulit and Keep. We got a shard. And we finished all this over here. What's over here? Oh, shit. So we've got this bridge to cross. We've got this area to cross. What is this? Got casts and some rifts and a logging stand. Um, let's go this way first. It's closer. And I'm not sure what's on the other side of that bridge. But we do need to go. 
and put Cass in our party. So, can, hmm, let's try this camp. And then we can wend our way that direction. Where's the horn? Ha ha. Oh, Jan, that's so very kind of you. Thank you. Y'all are so wonderful. We'll do the OGs. Solas, if you do not mind me asking, what do you believe in? Cause and effect. Wisdom as its own reward, and the inherent right of all free-willed people to exist. That is not what I meant. I know. I believe Whoa. the Elven gods existed as did the old gods of Devinter. But I do not think any of them were gods, unless you expand the definition of the word to the point of absurdity. I appreciate the idea of your maker, a god who does not need to prove his power. I wish more such gods felt the same. You have seen much sadness in your journeys, Solas. Following the maker might offer some hope. I have people, Seeker. The greatest triumphs and tragedies this world has known can all be traced to people. Oh, God, I love him so much. I love him so much. And there is some tasty, tasty insight for those of you who are in the know. All right, let's mark it on our map so I don't wander aimlessly. Oh, see? Good, I was going to wander aimlessly. I've new stuff. No, thank you. <laughs> I don't want any. Lamellon, <laughs> baby. There we go. I am intentionally avoiding Michelle at the moment um, because I really, really love his quest line, even though I don't like him as a person. And I want to... Oh, I heard babies. Oh, look at them go. Frolicking through the red lyrium. Oh. Um, I want to save that for, like, an entire episode to be spent on that. Oh, we missed that. Elven Ruin? I'll take it. Oh, more babies. Yes, Cal, I am 100% in agreement. I love that they let Solus kind of, and, and not like in a condescending way, but he snaps back in a way that's like, can we not shove your religion down everyone's throat, please, for a second? I love that. I love that. And he even kind of explains more of, like, what we know or should know about the creators, i.e. the Elven Pantheon, in case um, that term's not as well known as perhaps it is to me. <laughs> yeah, I do think we're going to get to Vinter in some way, shape, or form for four. I don't know if that's, like making it a prequel. I don't think it'll be a prequel just because it's called Dreadwolf. What did I miss? Ah, which makes me uh, feel like it's, it's going to take place directly after Inquisition and therefore could not be a prequel. But we do know that Tevinter is going to play a heavy hand in the narrative in some way, shape or form. Speaking of the Dreadwolf. Oh, the hunt. A note ripped to bits by an angry hand, pieced back together. It reads, leave me alone or I swear I'll kill you. Oh. Okay, so where were those? Were those outside? Yeah, those were probably gonna be more plants. Oh, cow. I hope she's in it at all. Oh, <gasps> Felindaris! We've been looking for this for literal ages. We need to take that back to the hinterlands, for fuck's sake. <gasps> Wait, there's a fire behind that. So let's grab this, and then we'll go look behind it. <gasps> look, oh. Um, I guess I'll take your loot like a bad person. Ah, I'm sorry. We left this fire going. A journal left open. Oh no, okay. Something's wrong. Brace has been away three days. He should be back from the hunt by now. 
The river froze overnight. It's so cold. I, I worry that he's lost. Or worse. I have a terrible feeling all this has to do with him touching that strange red crystal. He said he could hear it humming. Crystals don't hum. I have to go look for him. Brees, if you see this and I'm gone, wait for me. I won't be long. Well... I will never understand why anyone would make ground vertical. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting to see them right on the lake. I was kind of more concerned with those red dots over there. But I guess we're dealing with these boys now. Did we get an explode combo. Yeah. Nope. Not today, sir. There we go. Nice. I love how this man just waited very patiently for his turn. Nope. No, he still got me. I dodged an entry thing. I guess he interrupted. I wasn't as on the money as I thought. I'm fort. Oh, hello, chicken hunt. Oh, no. Well, I hope you get so much better. I don't even know what's going on. That's all your business. You're welcome to talk about it if you like, but please don't feel compelled. Oh, this is not good. Um, but I wish you the speediest recovery. I'm gonna need someone to take my aggro if I'm gonna do that. Actually, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Aha, I can. Hold on, hold on. Oh my god! It's disruptive over here. Here we go. Aha! Oh, Kelsey! I hope your grandfather's okay! There we go. Who's in there? Whew! Agra was weird. They're over here fighting these people. Or puppies. They're not people. Goodness. Oof. That sound was gross. Okay. 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 The ice cracking noise is really well done. It makes me very nervous. <laughs> well, Chicken Hunt, I'm super glad to be a bright spot in your day. Thank you for saying that, that's very kind. Oh God, I don't know if y'all can hear these sounds to the same degree that I can. The ice crackling and breaking underneath my uh, feet. Yeah, it's usually why I don't bring Varric around is because he does leave his caltrops everywhere and he destroys the local wildlife. <laughs> Man, the screaming. Mm. I'm trying to find an organic path up this. Oh, it looks like I've just found one. Or maybe not. There are puppies we have over to there. Stop this mage. What mage? I'm I'm trying to get up there. We can't even see one yet. We'll Skyrim it then, if that's what's gonna go on. Yeah, the good headphones are making me like ooh, I have really nice headphones. And they're like noise canceling as well. So uh they're they're rather good. Okay. No! The other direction, my love. Turn around. 
and we're gonna vault the other direction. Oh, it didn't work. Fuck. I have not been doing any official voice acting, but I do voice acting on the channel for our different uh, characters, and when we have like events and stuff, and we do more like dating sim things I've done the character voicings for, and stuff like that. Super fun. Ooh. Well, I'm glad to help alleviate some of your boredom, Chicken Hunt, while you're recovering. All right, we got our logging stand and maybe another installation in our hunt saga. Mm. This is the next installation. The hunt. So we've got an individual looking for Brees. Bryce? Bryce? And then an individual who is leaving notes saying, leave me alone. I don't know if those are connected or not. But I'm not sure. Because it was also called the hunt, I believe. No, the hunt was the one that we found near Solus's statue that said, stop following me, leave me alone. So... Day one. Tracked her to the edge of High Grove. I knew she's here somewhere. I can sense it. Day two. She gave me the slip. She's cunning. Hunter and hunted. Round and round in circles. It's a game. A dance. A ritual. It wouldn't be the same without it. Day four. Tracked head to the ruins. She might be resting. I need the element of surprise. Leave everything unnecessary behind. Go in light and quick. She's not gonna get away. Not this time. I still have not decided whether this person's talking about an animal or a person. Both of them are a little uncomfortable. There, Ooh. a rogue mage. Does this man just live in his life, Cass? Why are we doing this? She just, I know she really hates mages, but like, just because someone's an apostate doesn't necessarily mean they need to die. The hiding's real though. I, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> There, okay. There we go. We good now? Yeah. Sad that it came to this, but at least it is done. There we go. She greatly approves of something. Goodness, yes. Like, clearly I know she's approving of, uh, of what we did, but I feel like it's kind of a hard approval to gain, you know what I mean? Gonna try to take a good look around. Oh, hello, Geth Prime. These weapons are pretty primitive. They're pretty useful, though. Especially the space, the non-space magic, the non-space biotics. There we go. Yeah, I echo Cook, Cook and Rook. <laughs> I'm super happy to have you here, Chicken Hunt, and super glad that you're healing up. Yeah, and we have extra long streams for the rest of the month, so, like, everyone's sitting pretty. We have a lot to watch and journey through, and... Oh, God. Oh, why? Why does this area have to keep destroying our good vibes? Man. 
something? Ooh, there was something. Yeah, for seriously, this game is a real vibe check and I wish they'd stop. <laughs> All right. Barely intelligible scroll. Oh. oh. <laughs> I almost like can't, can't keep a straight face while I'm doing this. <sighs> oh no, this poor sod. All that's in my head is the quest from Kingdoms of Amalur the Reckoning, where this man falls in love with the equivalent of, like, a nymph, right? But think evil nymph. And it, it just has that vibe, but with Desire Demon. We've seen this happen before. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello, Panic. I'm doing pretty good. Tickled right now. I'm trying to do an accent for this man, but I can't stop giggling. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> they say you uh, shouldn't bring home girls you find your favorites. But they don't know. I saved Colette. She came from a cold, empty place. No one cared about her. Now she's here. We'll be together forever. She's all I ever wanted. I know she loves me. I feel her love in everything she does to me. Even when it hurts. <laughs> this man is a member of the BDSM community. Especially when it hurts. I've never been happier. You have your fun, my guy. As long as no one's getting in hurt but you. It's totally cool. <laughs> And consensual. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, Drago Tail. Hello. Thank you for the nine months. I'm doing pretty super well. Oh, there's something behind us. Oh, it looks like some wreck. Okay, so let's kind of clear out the rest of this island. I got it. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> the mod, auto mod that Twitch uh, has in place is like, no, you can't say BDSM. It's fine. Yeah, thank you uh, for, for adding it to the primitive terms. So that has to be on right now because um, a part of the parameters, oh, I'm stuck. A part of the parameters that I have to adhere to um, for being able to be a Twitch featured creator for pride month is oh no the babies leave them alone i don't want to fuck with them though <laughs> um is having auto mod on so uh bear with me as it catches some terms and and if they're appropriate in their usage uh we'll go ahead and flag them on through we're like the tsa Oh, for, for non-Americans, that's our, like, really rigorous security at airports. But it's, like, unnecessarily rigorous. And, uh, a little bigoted in its application. <laughs> Cal? <laughs> I have to read this one. <laughs> Cal says, I wouldn't say getting bisected with an axe is rack compliant, but I sure guess it was consensual. <laughs> and Xavier, you're right. Uh, like the TSA, it doesn't always catch much, even though it is super rigorous. When we flew to Mexico, though, I like I was like ready. I had my laptop off in a separate container. I had my shoes off. I took all my jewelry off and they were like, what are you doing? Oh, what is, what is happening? I don't want that, man. Um, I think the way that the Autobot works is it has to crop up and then get um, approved. There's not like a list of them. That's, it's different than the 
set you know, of words. You know, for someone with your tact and charisma, you assembled a pretty good little inquisition. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt in assuming you didn't drag them all here by force. How Ooh. kind of you. Ooh. I mean, you never know. You could have kidnapped Ruffles and she'd be too polite to say anything. Liliana recruited Josephine. They're friends. So there's a rational explanation after all. Just when I thought you had layers. Whoa! Uh, the spice level, Varric. Love. Cassandra, you deserved that. Ooh. All right. Yeah, Citadel security is not super great at stopping infiltrators e either. Geth Prime. Unfortunate. Oh my god, I live for the snark too. Do not get me wrong. I love it. That was not me not loving it. That was me loving it. Oh. This this big old bear just came through and slaughtered everything and I'm over here picking up the pieces. Oh, I love the little chunky boys. Don't worry. Now, now. Cass did a bunch of shitty stuff. She is getting um what she sowed. She's reaping what she sowed. Oh, we gotta go the other way. Uh, I don't want the big bear man. Well, he's not a man. He's just a big bear. We can just, like, leave that off at bear. I don't think Cass has apologized for any of it either, so she... She's just... She's deserving of any this. Any chance we might fall through the ice and be trapped beneath forever? I mean, potentially. Cass will be the first, though, because she's the heaviest with all that heavy armor on. I like Cassandra. Please don't get me wrong. I like her a lot, but that doesn't mean that she's uh, without her flaws. Yeah, there are a lot of big bears in this area. I don't remember there being quite so much over here either. Ha. Got out of the way just in time. Let's give him a big explosion. Bing. <laughs> That's my big explosion noise. <laughs> All right, are we gonna have big pride demons again? Because I'm not necessarily a fan. Mm. Yeah. Oh, this is good. I'm gonna try and focus. What? Well, I guess not. I guess we gotta get that guy down. This is gonna be a pain. Do we have? I don't have enough focus yet. Leave my boyfriend alone. There's plenty of potions for them to take. Okay. I'm gonna do another explosion since they're grouped. Let's get some AoE goodness. Barrett's got the same idea. Do we have enough yet? No. I think it's those gems. But you can't see because of the face can that. I'm just gonna continue woo, to AoE that direction. Leave the boyfriend alone, sir. Down, down one to go. Oh, you absolute waffle. I'm just gonna go this way. Do not! Do not! There we go. Yup. He's a... Quote unquote primitive weaponry is definitely not as effective as a... <laughs> Some of what's available to the denizens of uh, the Milky Way and, oh god, was it? 2052 is the start of the first contact war, right? God, is it really so soon? I don't even remember anymore. I'm gonna be really impressed if that is correct, though. Oh no. Oh, is this Dark Spot? I like that life horn amulet though. All right, we haven't run down this section of the river. 
So we can continue to kind of explore this way, see what we've got. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, we just keep going. All right. I'm gonna head down. And hopefully not shatter any ankles. I think I can be bopped from ledge to ledge. Oh, apparently we're not supposed to go down there. Well, fine. I wanted to explore some more. A shame. It looked like I could get down there pretty reasonably. Where else can we go in this area? So it looks like potentially over here. Oh, a little baby. He's squeaking. Hi, little guy. <laughs> Look at Chucky! He's delightful! He's ugly cute. Oh, I would really like that Dawn Stone. Ugh. Ha! Sometimes if you just Skyrim it a little bit, it'll help. Alright, so this way, this direction. Oh, that looks traversable. Oh god. I didn't notice that there were all those skulls and death motifs. Oh, a little unsettling. Who built this? Was this Teventer? Oh, oh. Well, maybe we can't get over there. A shame, it kind of looks like you can. Huh. I bet we probably can't. Okay, so Big Bear is over here. And I would like to avoid him. So let's kind of set us up for next time. Because we're already at time. So we've explored everything over there. We haven't really got everything over here. So we've got another red lyrium. Hmm. And this is next to Valeska's watch. Which is probably inside Valeska's watch. So we'll have that set up. Maybe we do Suladin Keep next time. We'll do Suladin Keep or we'll go across the bridge. How does that sound? Honestly, what we really should do is we should go and do some mission table. So I'm going to leave that there because it won't let me select the quest. I, oh, it's because it's convinced it's finished already. Okay, I'm going to leave this in front. But first, I got to make a stop. A very important stop. That I think is right here? Yes. You'd think for the hundreds of hours I put here, I'd remember better. Hello. Oh, no! We'll talk later. Dareth Shira. Hello. Have I upset you? We'll talk later. Dareth Shira. Third time's a charm? Hello. Oh, my heart is crushed. We'll talk later. Dareth Shira. I live for the Vanans. But he was not in a giving mood today. I cry. Love you, Josie. Alright. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. For more content, you can check out these videos, or my stream on Twitch, or cosplay on Instagram, or my OnlyFans. All the links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.